I have a lot of people that sail on my street. The name of my boat is Clifford because it's uh, bright red. You always have fun trying to get your boat up. I don't like racing a lot, that's the thing. And you may ask yourself. Can I count my fingers? And you may ask yourself. What's that? I've been sailing for three years. My name is Kyle. I am nine years old and I've been sailing for three years. My name's Lauren. I'm eight and I've been sailing for four years. My name is Alexis and I am I'm seven years old and, I, and this is my first year sailing. My name is Quinn. I'm nine years old and I've been sailing for three years. My name is Noelle. Um, I've been sailing for three years, and I'm nine years old. So, tell me about... Hey, keep it down, buddy. My name's Frank. I'm eight years old, and I've been sailing for two years. Hi, my name's Brooke. I'm eight years old, and I've been sailing for two years. My name's Viola. I'm nine years old, and I've been sailing for three years. My name is Chelsea. I'm 11, and I've been sailing for four years. Um, my name's Mackenzie Nolan, and I'm 10, and I've been sailing for four years. My name is Shannon. I just started sailing. And you guys apparently sing songs out there when you're sailing? <laughs> My name is Drewster. I have been sailing for two years. My name is Juliet. I'm nine years old and I've been sailing for three years. My name is Kelly and I am 10 years old and I've been sailing for three years. I am Lexi Nolan and I'm 12 years old and I've been sailing for four years. My name is Molly and I've been sailing for three years. My name is Tyler Mastracchio. I'm 13 and I've been sailing for three years. Hi, I'm Jessica Magno. I'm 10 years old and, I've, and this is my third year of sailing. Three or four days. One, two, three. My name is Billy. I've been sailing for many years. How, ma how many, you think? Um, we've been sailing for five days, I think. My name is Kayla, and I've been sailing for this many years. My name is Kayla, and I've been sailing for this many years. Perfect. My name is Jackie. I'm turning 11 tomorrow, and this is my third year of sailing. Happy birthday! My name is Sammy. I'm 10 years old, and I just started sailing, but I have been sailing with my cousin Katie before. When we just get to sail around like, and do all kinds of Well, you of get to learn how to sail and also you get to cruise along the water. And the best thing about sailing is when we put the boat together. Steering the boat. My favorite part is when we're actually sailing on the water because I really like, like steering the boat and especially being on the water. My most favorite thing about sailing is going out on the boat. I have two f favorite parts. Bring the stuff over to the boat, and I like, 
and I like pulling the sail up to the top. Well, I like capsizing because you get to um, you get to fall out of the boat on purpose, and you get to almost rip the sail and break the centerboard. My favorite part of that sailing is that the wind in your face and how you're cruising on the water. The way I feel when I get up in the water because it just feels like I can forget all my problems for just a couple hours. The best thing about sailing is when you're when there's a lot of wind and you're going fast. My favorite thing about sailing is is how fast you can race when you're in a race. Rigging up the boat and sailing it. My favorite thing about sailing is capsizing. 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 Well, for one thing you have to get wet. It's scary because water like gets in the boat and I don't like touching I don't I like um, swimming but I just don't like touching water with my legs and things and I don't like when it gets in my shoes I think the worst thing about sailing is the days when there's no wind because then you don't really get anywhere. When there's no wind and you're just out there sitting in the same place for three hours, it's the worst thing. The worst thing is when it's a cloudy day and it's raining and we can't really go sailing. On rainy days when we don't get to go out sailing on the boat. Worst thing is that like the bay is full of like jellyfish and crabs and like you get stung. When you tack, you always have to pull in the main tree and sometimes you get stuck. I don't like jiving. Getting hit by the my getting hit by the boom. When you get hit in the head with a boom. The worst thing about sailing is is getting hit by the boom. I've been hit by the boom four times. I chipped my tooth when I was listening to the instructions from my instructor Kristen last year and the wind um switched on me and the boom hit me in the face. Boom! I've sure have ducked. <laughs> the boom hit me so hard that it cut my uh open my near my eyelash and I almost had to go to the hospital and get stitches but no I didn't. I got hit by the boom. How was that? It wasn't fun. Why do they call it the boom? Because when it because sometimes it can hit you on the on the head. And it goes. Boom. Um because sometimes when you when you turn it um can hurt your head. If you don't if you don't like dunk, um it hurts your head. Well, I first started the sailing program because all my cousins do it and I thought it would be fun. And my grandpa, he thought it might be fun too because he he was the one that really wanted me to sail. Oh, I just got signed up. My grandma just signed me up because she thought I would like it. I wanted to see what sailing was like and learn about all the different things of sailing. The reason I wanted to be in this sailing program is because I wanted to be a pro. Joined the sailing program was it sounded like fun, and my dad's friend from high school suggested it because he's been sailing for a very long time. My family's been doing it for a very long time, and I don't know, I just started doing it. My family's been in it for five generations, so it's just a whole giant family thing. It was my parents' idea uh, because they thought. We were like about the age where we could start sailing and sailing sounded like a good idea so I said I'd try it and I've been sailing ever since. I first started sailing because like um, my family does it on my dad's side and um, I wanted to do it and it looked fun. My papa used to be a coast guard and he um, knew how to sail 
and he used to have a small lofty that was really old that he took me on. And then one day it broke and I wanted to keep sailing, so I came here. The first day I was really nervous. I started in the puffers with like eight people in it. And it was really, really crowded. And um, I, it was, I didn't really like it the first time I did it because it was so crowded, you could barely move. And then when I did Opti's, it was a blast. Well, I was nervous because I only had one friend, but then I didn't know that my other friends were coming. So I felt more comfortable, and then, but this year they're not here, so. The first year that I joined, when my mom said I, I was gonna go, I was a little hesitant because I knew nothing about sailing, neither did my parents. But I agreed to go, and it turned out to be fun. The knots at the tie is a double knot and an eight knot. I know one knot, the eight knot. I can tie the four knot, this no the, the square knot, the the eight knot, the you have to make the number eight and then you have to in the in the first loop that you make on the top of the eight you have to put the end of the string the line in the top. I I tie I tie my own I tie my own knots though. I tie my own knots like I make my own knots but not the right way. I do it I do it however I want. I don't tie knots yet. I don't really know how to tie any knots, but I do want to learn how to tie some knots. The knots I know how to tie are the square knot. And that's like all. Oh. The knots I know how to tie are the half inch, a square knot, a uh, eight, uh, eight knot, um, a granny knot, and um, a cleat. The double knot. A square knot, a granny knot, and a bow knot. Well, I knot. I sort of know how to do a cleat knot. Yeah. I know how to tie a square knot, a cleat knot, and a bowling knot. Square knot. An eight knot, kind of a bowling. Do you know how to tie a bowling? What's that? Well, you lay a string out, and then you make like a loop, and then, well, I sort of remember how, but not really. I remember the rabbit in the hole, but I don't remember how they said it. The rabbit goes up the hole, around the tree, back down through the loop, and pull it. Perfect. because they, like when you don't get something, they keep repeating it and like they help you learn how to do it. I've had a couple different instructors and I've learned a lot from all of them. My instructors are Emily, Chad, and Mary Beth. Favorite instructor is Alex. Really, how come? Um, because she always takes us out on the sailboat and she's like the, the only one who teaches us teaches us on puffer. I don't really have a favorite instructor, but um, I think Alex is one of my favorites so far because I just started, so I don't really have a favorite instructor, but Alex is like really nice, and I'm not saying that the others aren't because she just is, and she's a good instructor because she can explain things good, and she really teaches us a lot. My favorite instructor is Alex because she's nice and does that mean everybody else isn't nice? No. <laughs> she always picks different people. She, we play different games with her and... My favorite instructor is Chad. And then how come? 
Because he's fun. The instructor that I that uh, that I learned from is Chad. He is the beginner and sometimes intermediate instructor. He's a really nice and he's fun. My favorite instructor would probably be Chase. Probably Emily, because she's a girl. My favorite instructor is Emily. Is that because she's standing right here? <laughs> yes. One time we were playing sponge tag with um, Emily, and she was riding around the mo in the motorboat, and I threw the sponge at her, and it hit her in the head. Favorite instructor is Mary Beth. I, I think she's been here for three years, maybe more. How did you like Mary Beth? Yes, I like Mary Beth a lot. Do you think she's cute? That is not a question I should be answering on. Um, I think my favorite instructor that I have now would have to be Mary Beth because she's nice and she's just funny and she's just one of those people you can't help but like. The B, the, um, 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 what were the letters again? The BBYRA stands for a sailing company. Barnegat Bay Yacht. Barnegat Bay. Barnegat Bay, Bay Racing Bay. Association. Or er, Barnegat Bay Yacht Racing Association. Good. miles per hour. Six, uh, it can go six, um, it can go really fast. My boat goes about two miles per hour. 30 miles per hour. Like 20 miles an hour? I really don't know what miles per hour means. Well, yesterday when the wind was strong, I took it out in the afternoon, and, um, I was going so fast that I pretty much lost control of it. Can I count my fingers? Sure. I think it was more like 50 miles per hour yesterday because it ha I have this thing on my boat that tells how fast it goes. Maybe it's as fast as a car. Probably only like five miles per hour. Can't go. Um, about 75. Okay. When I get older, I want to um, sail my d with my dad on the M-Scow that we we own an M-Scow. As I grow up, I'd probably like to sail a laser or a 420 or a sunfish, and then maybe I could go to a B-Cat. Probably a sunfish and maybe a B-Cat. I want to keep sailing for a long time, and one day or another, I'm going to get a wind sail in like a few years, I mean a wind surfer and that, because I know how to surf too. So then I'm gonna try, um, after that, I'm gonna keep sailing and I wanna, when I grow up, I wanna be a major in a major sail race. When I grow up, I wanna sail an Opti. Well, actually, I'm looking forward to sailing an Opti. I wanna sail when I grow up and I wanna be a teacher. You wanna what? I'd be a sailing teacher. I wanna keep sailing. And like just like with my dad and we get to sail everywhere and I would be a sailing instructor. The boat that I want to sail when I get older is an e-scow. Because like my dad does it and so does my uncle and I thought it would be fun. When I get older I I definitely want to keep sailing. There are a lot of boats I'd like to try like the laser, the 420 <laughs> and then eventually just like a big sailing boat that I could take out like on the ocean or something like that. 
When I grow up, I want to learn how to sail a catamaran and a laser. I probably want, will keep sailing because it's a lot of fun and I really want to try out this sunfish because they're look a lot of fun. I want to sail a bee cat when I grow older because my aunt sails it. And when I grow out of an opti, I want to sail a laser radial. Yeah, I'm going to um, continue on sail because um, next year I want, um, like not next year, when I'm, um, when I'm going to move into second grade, I want to sign up again because my friend Connor, he's here and he, and um, when he's going to move into third grade, he wants, he wants to do sailing and I want to do sailing with Connor again.